Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. Cube root of a plus 5 minus cube root of a minus 2 is equal to 1. Our job is to find all possible values of a. So let's start. We suppose that let x is equal to this expression cube root of a plus 5 and y is equal to this expression cube root of a minus 2. Now if we take cube of both sides of this equation, this implies that x cubed is equal to a plus 5. If we take cube of both sides of this equation, this implies that y cube is equal to a minus 2. Now, if we substitute x and y in the original equation, this will become x minus y is equal to 1. Let's call this equation equation 1. From this equation, we subtract this equation. So, this will become x cubed minus y cubed is equal to a plus 5 minus a minus 2. Now this x cubed minus y cubed is equal to x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared is equal to a plus 5. Negative times a will become negative a and negative times negative 2 will become positive 2. Next x minus y times we rearrange these terms x squared plus y squared. We can write this x y as we can write this x times y as negative 2 x y plus 3 x y. So, this will become negative 2 x y plus 3 times x y is equal to this negative a will be cancelled out with this positive a and this 5 plus 2 will become 7. Next x minus y times this x squared plus y squared minus 2 x y will become x minus y whole squared plus 3 times x y is equal to 7. Now, in this equation we replace this x minus y and this x minus y with this value of x minus y 1 from equation 1. So, this will become 1 times 1 squared plus 3 times x y is equal to 7. Now, 1 times this expression will be same and this 1 squared is 1 plus 3 times x y is equal to 7. And from here, we subtract 1 from both sides. So, this get cancelled and we get the value of 3 times x y is equal to 6. And we divide both sides by 3. So, this 3 will be cancelled out with this 3 and we get the value of x times y is equal to 6 divided by 3, 2. Let us call this equation equation 2. And we recall equation 1. Equation 1 is x minus y is equal to 1. Equation 1 is x minus y is equal to 1 this is equation 1. Now, for the values of x and y, we solve with this system. From this equation, if we move this y to the right hand side and this 1 to the left hand side, this implies that uh, y is equal to x minus 1. And in this equation, we replace this y with this value of y, x minus 1. So, this equation 2 will become x times x minus 1 is equal to 2. 
and x times x will become x squared x times negative 1 negative x we move this to to the left hand side this will become negative 2 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable so we solve it by factorization we write this x squared x squared and we split this uh, negative x as uh, negative 2 times x plus x minus this 2 is equal to 0. Now from these two terms uh, we can factor out x and in bracket left uh, x minus 2. From these two terms uh, we can factor out plus 1 in bracket left uh, x minus 2 is equal to 0 and this uh, x minus 2 this x minus 2 is common so we factor out this x minus 2 and uh, in bracket left uh, this uh, x and this plus 1 in bracket left uh, x plus uh, 1 is equal to 0 from here either this expression x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression x plus 1 is equal to 0 from this equation we get the value of x 2 and from this equation we get the value of x negative 1. To find the values of y we recall equation. We recall this equation y is equal to x minus 1. We recall the equation y is equal to x minus 1. y is equal to x minus 1. 1. First, we replace uh, this x with this value 2. So, this will become y is equal to 2 minus 1. And from this equation, we get the value of y is equal to 2 minus 1, 1. So, when x is equal to 2, x is equal to 2, then y will be equal to 1. Now, we replace uh, this x with this value negative 1. So, this will become y is equal to negative 1 minus 1 and from here we get the value of y is equal to negative 2. So, when x is equal to negative 1 then y will be negative 2. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, x is equal to cube root of a plus 5 and y is equal to cube root of a minus 2. We have supposed that uh, x is equal to cube root of a plus 5 and we have supposed that uh, y is equal to cube root of a minus 2. So, when x is equal to 2, then this equation will become cube root of a plus 5 is equal to 2. And we take cube of both sides. So, this cube will be considered with this cube root. And at left hand side, we are left with a plus 5 is equal to 2 cubed is 8. And if we subtract 5 from both sides, then this get cancelled and we get the value of a is equal to 3. When y is equal to 1, then this equation will become cube root of a minus 2 is equal to 1. And we take cube of both sides. So, this cube will be considered with this cube root. At left hand side, we are left with a minus 2 is equal to 1 cubed is 1. And if we add 2 to both sides, we get the value of a is equal to 3. So, from both these equations, we found the value of a 3. Now, when x is equal to negative 1, then this equation will become cube root of a plus 5 is equal to negative 1 and we take a cube of both sides. So, this cube will be considered with this cube root 
and at left hand side we are left with a plus 5 is equal to negative 1 we subtract 5 from both sides this get cancelled and we get the value of a is equal to negative 6 when y is equal to negative 2 then this equation will become cube root of a minus 2 is equal to negative 2 and we take a cube of both sides this cube will be cancelled out with this cube root and we are left with a minus 2 is equal to negative 2 cubed is negative 8 and if we add 2 to both sides so this get cancelled and we get the value of a is equal to negative 6 so we have two solutions of this equation a is equal to 3 and the second a is equal to negative 6